Now to the big event that's starting to take over the city. Live pictures right now as that huge structure goes up for next week's NFL draft. Now, if you work downtown, chances are your commute was impacted by the latest phase of road closures connected to the NFL draft. Those road closures began today, impacting the Lodge, Jefferson Avenue, and a whole bunch of streets surrounding the downtown core. Will Jones is live. Will, getting around, not going to be easy from here on out. Definitely not. I'm standing on Jefferson Avenue and normally around this time it will be bumper to bumper traffic because of rush hour, but this road is shut down due to the NFL draft. This closure and other closures are going to be making getting around downtown a challenge. Detroit is preparing to be in the national spotlight for the NFL draft. The city is leaving no stone unturned for the hundreds of thousands of tourists the draft is expected to attract. Where are you guys going? And as preparations shift into high gear, there are more road closures. And what was it like for you coming in this morning? Torture. Phase three of road closures began at midnight, and this is the biggest phase yet. It's all listed here on your screen. The lodge exit to Jefferson Avenue downtown is closed, and westbound Jefferson is shut down from Bobian to Washington, and eastbound Jefferson from Washington to Randolph. Bates Street from Jefferson to Atwater, Atwater from Civic Center Drive to Bates, and finally southbound brush between Larnett and Jefferson is also closed to traffic. This is in addition to the first two phases of closures, which are still in effect. There's a lot of Canadians that work in Detroit and go back to Windsor through the tunnel. And I can't even imagine what this is going to look like with only one lane coming this way. So bottom line, if you're planning to spend any time downtown over the next few weeks, be prepared for delays. This is only temporary, so I just know to leave out earlier and it'll be fine. Are you excited to have the draft in Detroit? Oh my goodness, overly excited. I am super excited. The draft is over on April 27th, but those closures will remain into effect through early May. That's because it's going to take time to deconstruct everything. We're live on Jefferson Avenue. Will Jones, Local 4. Sure to be an exciting time. Okay, Will, we appreciate that update.